from Koeni Kenkei website. Okay. Before I start, I'm Kuretu Aini as a representative from Polyware Senior Brahat. You can find us at Polyware Senior Brahat, the blogspot.com. Okay. There are five process flow of PVC, which are crude oil to nocta, nocta to ethylene, ethylene to ethylene dichloride, Processing of ethylene dichloride to vinyl chloride monomer, and lastly, PVC. Intro to crude, to crude oil. Crude oil is the unrefined petroleum produced, a product composed of hydrocarbon deposit and other organic material. Organic product can be formed by refining crude oil. The common quality of the crude oil will different uh, for another is the their weight and sweetness. For the lighter crude, lower density has high value of API, while the lower API indicate heavier crude. From the slide, there are the uh, the weight of the crude oil and API range. Next is the processing of crude oil to nafta. Okay, when the crude oil comes into the refinery, it first passes into the distillation column. We separate the crude oil into a different fraction by boiling range. Nafta refers to the light fraction produced by, distil by distillation. That is, that is roughly in a gasoline boiling range of 30 degrees C to 200 degrees C. Nafta is characterized as light depending upon its distillation guide and is used as a stock of high octane gasoline after further processing. This is a nafta. Next is the processing of nafta to ethylene. First, the process starts with the nafta being fed to the furnace to be cracked with temperature at 850 degrees C to 900 degrees C. The steam also feed, <coughs> the steam also feed uh, at the lower the partial pressure of hydrocarbon. Second, the hydrocarbon was rapidly cooled by using TLE to avoid loss of valuable product by secondary reaction. <coughs> Third is the cracking gas uh, was flowed down to the primary fractionator where it's functioned to remove the fuel oil it carries from the furnace as well to strip the gasoline produced from the cracking reaction before it flowed down to pitch water tower. Next, step four. Process 4 is the cracking gas is put to the multi-stage compression with intercooler to prepare the cryogenic separation in the fractionation section. 5. There is the acid gas removal unit, specifically, specifically caustic uh, unit was applied to remove acid gas uh, such as H2S, and CO2. Step 6 is the, the crack gas that route uh, to the cool box to be chilled to the temperature around 150 degrees C where methane is condensed and can be removed in the next process you need. And then the crack third oil was undergoes to the cryogenic separation via the series of distillation column, which the first DC is the demonizer and then deternalizer. And then propen depropanizer. And lastly, the ethane were obtained after C2 splitter, which the function to remove ethylene from ethane. Next is the processing of ethylene to ethylene declare to EDC. The process begins with ethylene is fed 
by the pipeline to put pipeline uh, at the oxychloride rectum. The reaction is carried out in a paper fish at 200 to 315 dpc uh, in the fixed bag or fluid bag rectum. Uh, the reaction also mixed with the copper chloride and other chloride uh, used as the castle as a catalyst in chlorination process. Next, uh, the, the next process is the ethylene uh, EDC to vinyl chloride monomer. Ethylene chloride is introduced into the pyrolysis furnace, which is cracked into the vapor piece at temperature 450 to 620 degrees C. About 50% uh, was converted of EDC to VCM uh, to achieve the reaction. When chloride uh, produced is used either on site or sold and heavy end uh, is in red. And lastly, uh, the important uh, process uh, in this uh, website is the vinyl chloride monomer to polymer vinyl chloride. Firstly, the fresh PCM will fit into the polymerization vector with water and suspended agent. To the high speed of agitation, small droplets of PCM are formed and eventually become PVC. The catalyst solvent in VCM is fit into the reactor under pressure and temperature ranging from 40 to 60 degrees PC. And the PCM uh, droplet will turn into PVC. The PVC obtained suspended in water and appear and the slurry particle. The slurry discharge, discharge from the polymerization reactor is stripped to the unreacted VCF. The end of the result, the PVC is formed of white powder or rising and the VCM was recovered and recycled back as the raw material. That's all from me and polymerize in your mind. Thank you.